Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought we would make some lovely little tear-off notepads. Um, and these are really, really lovely. I've used some of my embellishments from my kits and I've just used bits of sort of like scrap paper for the covers um, that I had in my sort of scrap stash. Um, and they're really simple to make. Um, and they are just, they're just lovely little notepads and you just pull them off like this aren't they lovely so so simple to do and all as you do is you've got some glue um, to glue them together and that's it and I love them um, so no sewing um, or anything like that and these can just pop into your journals and you can just embellish them however you like and I'm just loving them I've just used paper which is um, copy paper now this one I had in my stash, it has some sort of like coffee stains on it where I was using it to, to um, colour some paper. But I'm just loving them, really simple to do and they just peel off like that. So you've got a little notepad. So these are perfect. If you are into sending your happy mail and little pen pal gifts, these are perfect. Um, and then you just embellish. I've got one of my lovely little um, UV resin embellishments that we made the other day as well on there. And a little bow, um, which is the seam binding bow. But aren't they just gorgeous? This one here is exactly the same. I've done them three inches this way, three inches by four inches. Um, which is I think is quite a nice little sort of like size um, I've got one of my crafty words and phrases and this is just one of my embellishments because I found a little bundle of these which are from my beautiful botanicals so I thought I would just use one of those on there so I'm trying to use up some of the stuff that I've already got as well and I thought these are perfect um, and really simple to do I'm also using this. Now this one I said to you the other day that I was going to buy. It's the Tombow Maxi Power Tape. Um, I wanted to give these a go instead of gluing everything down I or using the um, double sided tape. I thought I'd try this and I have used it on these and I'm quite liking it. So far so good. So I will be using that as well. Now I have got some little pads of paper ready. Now I'm going to show you what I've done. I have just got, this is just paper. Now I've just cut this to size. Um, so you can make them any size you like. Okay, so you can see I've got some coffee stainy bits on there. Um, but because they are just little ones that I'm going to keep on my desk um, for me. Or just send them off I'm sure people won't mind if they've got little bits of coffee on them so what you need to do is cut them off um, depending on what size you want and you want one of the edges really straight well you want them all straight really so they all line up because um, that's the one you're going to put the glue on so just drop it onto your desk or drop it onto something flat um, and then make sure this is straight and then I've just taken a couple of bits of cards um, just to hold this together like that and then I've got one of my little clips you can use the little bulldog clips things that you've got as well um, and that is if you want to give them to people it stops it marking the paper like that but I don't really mind because these are just going to be for me anyway so I'm just going to hold them together like that I'm going to do a couple of them because um, then they can be drying and then we can decorate them all so again just tap it down make sure that's level or as level as you can do it um, if you want to um, put it down and run um, your knife across there and cut it really straight you can it all depends how fussy you are if you like it really really straight um, but it's got to be pretty level like that I'm just going to put these on the sides so use whatever clips you've got just for now let's just glue this and all as I'm using is my glue which is the um, tacky glue in here now I'm going to just going to stick a little line of this all the way down here like that just a tiny thin coat for now just for the first one just like that okay I'm just going to move that up so it's up close a couple more of my little clips just to stick that on there like that just for a minute let's do this one 
so I put two or three layers of this glue on but you want it to dry so just put a little layer like this on there just wipe it over I haven't done these very thick these little booklets aren't very thick but if you're going to do a big thick booklet um, you would probably want to squash that quite tight here or put something there so you can weight it down um, but because these are just little it's really it's just trial I'm just trying it out and they came out really lovely so I thought um, that you might like to see how I did it and give it a go as well you can see here this is where it's marked to paper but it's only for me so it doesn't really matter now I'm going to take that off bring these down a little bit it's very very warm in my room here so this is going to dry really quickly but I would give it um, a little while to dry just keep touching it okay so that's two and you can see it's got a coating on there I don't know whether you can see that but um, you'll be able to tell that you've got enough glue on there because it'll be sort of like a little bit shiny on there it's almost got like a little plastic coating so let's do this one again probably leave them a little bit longer than I'm leaving it so let's just put this on there because look that needs to be stuck down a little bit more put that across there we go put that on there okay I'm going to do this one as well while the other two dry make it flat put that on there let me get my little bag of these little clips out and a few more like this. this is quite a nice one so if you had the evening if you did this in the evening you could make up a few um, and then in the morning time you could finish them off or you could do them the next evening whenever you can craft again and then they'll be ready to decorate and put the little covers on so let's just pop that across a little bit more in there I think but because these are quite thin it doesn't take that long not very thick at all clip that on clip that on let's have a look how's that doing so that's dry to touch so I'm just going to put one more tiny little layer on there just a thin coat there we are and let's see how this one's getting on see, that one just feels a tiny bit tacky but Think it's because I'm going quite quickly like that okay so let's just leave those for a minute let's pop another one on here and then I will show you what I'm going to do with the covers because I've got them ready um, on the side there so just want to use up some bits that I already had cut out and ready to go so let's stick that there squash this down okay so that's the three done let's push those, push those little bits out of the way I've got three scrap pieces of paper here which I've cut to the right width so this is three inches and three inches and I'm not quite sure I think this is just over two inches maybe two and a half inches um, on that one so I've cut them the size of the pet pads that we're going to do so let's do the little one first so that's really dry so it's so warm in here beautiful so I'm going to do that in a little bit of blue so what we want to do we want to just fold it over pop it on the front like that and then I'm just going to fold it round to the back okay push it up push that down Make sure it's in line and then I'm going to just cut it off the bottom 
like that. So that's why you want a piece that's a little bit longer, then you know you're going to have a, the right um, length there. So that's the front. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to lift up the back page like that because I'm going to stick this to the actual back page. So I'm going to use my little sticky, a little sticky tape. So just a little bit down the sides like that. It doesn't have to be too much. It's only, it's only thin paper, so it's only got to stick on the back and like that. And there we go. Look at that. And we've got our little pad of paper, first one, and they just peel off. Just love them. Super simple. So what was I going to put on the front of this one? Let's have a look. I think I had this here, which is from my little beautiful botanicals, which I think is pretty. And of course, we have to have a butterfly. I think I've got that upside down. No, I haven't. No, it is this way, isn't it? And then I'm going to pop a little butterfly on there. And then I've got some of my beautiful rose trim, which I haven't used for ages. And that's it. So just get your little bits out of your stash that you've got hiding there. Pop this on. What should we do? Should we just put you there, I think? I'm going to glue the butterfly down like this. So this is another way if you haven't um, got a sewing machine and you don't sew then this is absolutely perfect with just a little bit of glue. I'm going to glue this piece along here. Get this down. This has gone so thick because it's so hot in here. I can get it out. There we go. I need to just water it down. Well, not water it down, but pop a little bit of acetone in there, I think. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? So that's a lovely little booklet. Look at that. So you can see. So you obviously you can make them as thick as you like, um, but I don't want to make it too thick because if these are going to go into little journals, um, it's a really nice sort of size. I'm not sure. I will count. I will let you know how many pages I've actually got in them. But look at that. How perfect. So let's do this one. Is this one? See, that's dry. That's perfect. Let me put the lid on to that so we don't. It doesn't dry up. So I was going to just use a piece of my um, sort of like coffee stained printed paper it's a lovely one this is so I'm going to just put that on I'm going to fold it around like that again just push it up make sure it's level here I'm going to turn it round and cut it off so we're nice and level now it doesn't really matter which is the back and the front. Open that up and then I'm going to get the little tape dispenser. Go this way at the top to hold that on and then down through there. So that just saves gluing. So, so there we go and that just leaves you that little bit up there and that just folds over and then we can decorate on this one. So what I have for this one, I've got one of my lovely little vintage ladies because I thought that would go on there really, really well. Because um, I haven't used these for ages. And then I've got one of my words and phrases which says dance. And then I've got a pink bow. Now I thought this would look quite nice because it's vintage. I thought I would add just a little pop of colour on the top. And doesn't that look pretty? So you can obviously you can it's you can add any colour because it's sort of like um a neutral colour, you can add any colour, but I just thought that pink looks absolutely gorgeous. So let's just stick it on with this. I'm quite liking this. 
um, I bought three in one go because you, you have to buy three. They won't allow you to buy one because they're quite cheap. Um, well, not quite cheap. I think they were about five euros um, each. So I will see how I get on with them um, and how long they last, depending how many times I use it. But the reason I really got it was to do sort of like a little bit of collage when I was doing my collage book and just things like this. So instead of gluing it down, just pop a little bit of this on it, I think would be perfect. And I think it's coming out really well. So there we go. So that goes on there. Obviously, I'm not going to stick this on there. I will pop little bit of Fabri-Tac on the top here so let's see a little bit of this on here pop the little bow on now this organza ribbon doesn't like sticking down at all so should we use one of these little one of these little clips to hold it on there there we go they are just lovely and so simple to do aren't they really really easy and really lovely so that's that one and i have one more to do wherever the paper is which is this one here let's see how we're getting on with this one look at that this one is just slightly thicker you can see the tea stain bits on there all the coffee stain bits on this one so that's come up lovely so i've got a little bit of the my leftover collage paper so I'm going to use that one on here, like that. Just make sure that's level, bend it over, like that. Oops, let me go this way. It's easier for me to push that up there. And then we can just cut that little extra piece off. So make sure you have a, little, a piece that's a little bit longer than you need and then you can level it off lovely by just trimming it. So let's turn that over, lift it up, pop that down like this. And there we go. That's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Let's pop that on there. Look at that. Love it. Love, love, love. So what did I have on this one? I think I was just going to put unique on there, which is one of the words and phrases as well, which I'm just loving. So these are. this is a really good one for stash, for if you wanted to use up some of your... Um, scrap papers and bits and pieces you can make a whole big bunch of these and have them ready um, either to go into happy mail or things like that but look at that lovely little booklet it's just perfect love them let's just see that's stuck nice doesn't that look pretty love the little pop of color with that actually one of my little embellishments would look nice nice on there wouldn't they because they look good I think in the middle of the bows so there we go guys super simple lovely little tear off notepads um, and look at that so I've got a nice little stash oh I got another one there quick and simple and really really good and they are just open up like that do a little note and then just tear it off just like that super simple so perfect love them all right, guys. Well, thank you so, so much for joining me. Please stay safe. Please give it a go because it's really good fun as well. Um, and I will see you next time. All right, guys. Bye-bye.